Hello and welcome. My name is Lynn and I have some really exciting news. So this year I get to be a part of Inktoberfest, which is put on or hosted by Maker Forte and Hedgehog Hollow. So it's an amazing honor. I am super, super excited. If you aren't already familiar with Inktoberfest, it's a month long event. Every day in the month of October, a new video will be released on the Hedgehog Hollow YouTube channel. And it's you can only find those projects on the Hedgehog Hollow channel. So what I'll do is leave a link to um, that channel in the description box below. That way, if you're interested in this event at all, I highly recommend subscribing and maybe even ringing that notification bell so that when the event starts, and whenever new videos get posted to the channel, you'll actually get a notification. That way you can um, tune into that day's um, tutorial. And the whole idea behind Inktoberfest is to share different techniques using not just inks, as the name may suggest, but an assortment of media. So it'll be a lot of um, really inspirational, fun technique tutorials where you get to um, see some beautiful projects, but also maybe pick up a tip or two that um, the instructors will be sharing. So my day will be October 18th. So definitely um, pop on over on the 18th to see what technique I will be sharing because my video will only be available and will only be seen on the Hedgehog Hollow YouTube channel during the event. So um, as being um, invited to join this awesome event, we got to pick some things out of the Maker Forte shop in order to um, create our tutorial. And I might have spent a little bit extra um, just because I just couldn't help myself because there's a lot of beautiful things on the Maker Forte shop. And the um, Maker Forte shop actually uh, showcases a lot of different designers. So you'll see different designers and their um, products in the shop, which I think is an amazing way to kind of highlight um, maybe smaller designers just getting into uh, making their own physical products. So you'll find a lot of co-branded um, items like this first stamp set that I picked up, which is um, in collaboration with Jess Francisco. And it's a lovely stamp set called Spell It Out. This portion here, the alphabet, is all one stamp. So I think it's going to be a really fun kind of background stamp, but then you do also get some sentiments, really fun ones that go with it. Um, so let me spell it out for you. I love you. My favorite letter is you. You're amazing. And so I thought this one would be kind of fun, just a really nice, um, I love typography. So this brush lettering is really fantastic. Um, so that's one thing that I picked up. Um, and then I also got, since it's here, let me show you. This is uh, Sugar Sparkle and it's um, holographic and in the color or name Black Hole. So I know it just looks black. It, it's basically um, a nice glitter, but there are some holographic um, bits in there. So. You'll be able to hopefully see this a little better if I peel this back. See how that shines? So it's not just straight black. It does have um, some different different colors that you can pick up as as I tilt that around. See a lot. I see a lot of greens um, and blues. So I think that's going to be really really fun. So I picked this jar and this is a very generous um, amount. It, I saw on the, on the bottom, it's 10 grams. So really, really nice um, pot of glitter. Then I have this is a, um, it's actually white rubber, a white rubber stamp. 
So really, really fantastic. And check that out. Look at the constellations. So I think that's going to be really, really fun. So basically the solid portion that stamps out is the dark area. So then you'll be left with um, the constellation. So I think that's going to be a really fun one to um, stamp out and play with as well as a, as a background. And then you get some sentiments too. You have, I love you to the stars and beyond. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. That's a really lovely sentiment. So I picked that up. This is a really large one too. It's a five by seven um, stamp. So as I mentioned, my day um, of Inktoberfest is October 18th. And on that day, I'll be taking a closer look at kaleidoscope powders. So these are really, really fun, different um, powders. I just got a small assortment here. There's lots of different colors in the shop and a lot of different types. And by types, I mean, there are some that are neon in color. I have one of those. This one's called Roller Skate. And I just made my own little label. And then when you open it up, I've swatched it on both white cardstock and black cardstock because some colors will look similar, some will look very different. And so for me, it's helpful to have this little swatch so that I can know what's going to happen um, when I apply it or use it. Then some powders, some kaleidoscope powders are even glow in the dark. And I don't happen to have any of those, but that is another type of kaleidoscope powder. And then the main ones that I focused on um, are what's called interference. And if you are familiar with um, mica, color shifting mica or color shifting acrylic paint. Um, interference basically means that there's a sort of differently sized particle that's mixed in here that makes these powders look different because they kind of reflect the light differently when it's applied to white versus when it's applied to black. And all the colors in between. You're just going to get something a little bit different. And so the difference can be subtle or the difference can be fairly striking. So here we have Pluto. And then on the left is what it looks like on white. And on um, the right is what it looks like on black. And one of the things, one of the neat properties about interference powders is that they tend to um, work really well on dark or black cardstock. That's when you really see um, the color come through. So this one's called Neptune. And you can see on white, maybe there's a hint of something. Um, it definitely looks shimmery. Um, to the naked eye, I can see maybe hints of green, but when you apply this to black, you can see that green really, really well, and the color just comes through beautifully. So then we have mercury, which again, very, very subtle um, on the white, and on the black, it almost looks like a... a um, rose gold, but then if you tilt it at certain angles, you, you can pick up a little bit of red as well. And you can layer on, um, you know, paint on more layers. All I did to do these swatches was just mix the powders with um, some distilled water and then just painted it on with a paintbrush. And when you um, apply the distilled water to it, it does activate a binding agent. So this is pretty well stuck on. Maybe a little bit of it will rub off, but uh, for the most part, um, that will stay uh, adhered to your cardstock. Then we have um, Aurora which has lovely reddish pinkish copper tones um so really beautiful and it's just so it's so different um how it looks 
to the naked eye, how it looks on camera. It's it's so hard to to really describe. So this is what I mostly see this shade here, a more kind of copper uh, look to it. But if I tilt it in certain lights, it definitely takes on a more pinkish tone. So really, really beautiful. That one was Aurora. Then we have um, Saturn. And here you can see maybe a light copper, but then on black, look at how that green shines through. So, so really, really cool. And then um, this one was the neon. This one's roller skate. So very, very vibrant on white, but still works pretty well on black as well. So that's um, the neon roller skate color. So lots of different fun powders that I have here. And um, so I'll be crafting with some combination of all of this on October 18th. You'll be able to find that video on the Hedgehog Hollow YouTube channel. Again, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. If you're curious about any of these products, I'll leave links to them in the description box below. There's also a phenomenal sale going on right now. And I know the kaleidoscope powders are part of that sale. So you're, you'll are you be able to get 30% off on a huge selection of products. So I'll leave um, links to that sale and the coupon code that you'll need to enter in order to get that 30% off. And of course, I'll leave links to these individual products too if you want to check out um, these ones that I've shown specifically. So I can't wait for um, October 1st to start and for this amazing event to begin so that I can follow along as well and maybe pick up a few new tricks and um, techniques. Don't forget my day on Hedgehog Hollow will be October 18th and I'll be sharing a project or two with kaleidoscope powders. Thanks so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.